Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nifo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We are well underweight. Um, everything in there is good. We're going to be using these tablets. Um, we could probably do with some repairs. Uh, we got some water on the fire. And if it's down to 64, hatchets at 98. And there we go. We are day 169, and here's our skills. Ice fishing's getting close. Fishing time reduced by 5%, 8% chance of line breaking. And that will get smaller. That will get probably that number will get bigger when it goes up. There we go. And we are early in the morning. So we got six minutes on this. Let's take that. What are you? Let's take the coho. Throw you on there. 35. One minute till melted. So we got to wait. There we go. We'll do that. Murd got woken up early by his lawyer. Things are moving along, so yay. That's good. That is good. And what are you? 29 minutes and you're 38 minutes and we have an hour. Okay, so we should have enough time to repair you. We'll just start with the worst. There we go. Let's take the pot. And one more and we'll be good. Okay, how long is this? 54. Do we want us? We use 16. We don't want that one. Hopefully this is longer. You're 11. Okay, well, maybe I'll take that one off and put you two on. Thirty-four. Twenty-four. We could get one more repair. All right, we're all good. Uh, let's throw you up there. And let's go. Uh, we're gonna make sure the lantern's full. And then any of that oil we'll throw down here. Just a wee touch of it. Okay, let's go. Uh, eat and drink. We got a bear to go get. Let's go get our bear. Oh, and it's nice and sunny out. No moose. All right. So he ran from the dock that way. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. I mean, it's a bear, right? Uh, we got one bar of scent. Uh, I gotta remember that is not the bear we're looking for. That's the there he is, I think. That's a pretty big item over there. Let's go check it out. Probably, yeah, that looks like our bear. Minus four. You killed the broken railroad bear. And when you went into harvest, the bear and you fell through the world. You clicked off the world and you appeared back on top, but no bear. Oh, that's a new one. BRR, that's Broken Railroad, right? Ever since Blackrock 
was added. I've never understood which one was which. <laughs> I believe that's Broken Railroad. That sucks. That's not fair. Alright, there's bear. I believe that's bear 17, right? I believe we established that already. There's me arrow. All two of them. Take you. Take you. What are we at now? We have 26 good ones. Uh. Breathe, Astrid. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any wind and what direction it's going, so... Uh, let's throw... You down right there. And... Let's get rid of our scent. Just make sure I didn't have anything I wasn't thinking about. Okay. Uh... Come on, we had green. There we go. I get a fire, so hopefully the wind doesn't pick up. Hopefully we have a nice calm day. And I'll just throw two on there. And we'll cook as we harvest. an hour go with 10 that's a lot kind of risky the weather changes we wouldn't get any of that so I right, will do that and we'll throw you all in there We got 13 minutes. Uh oh. It's getting foggy. We're aimed at where we gotta go anyway, so it's not a big deal, but. been in uh we haven't been in coastal highway very long but we got a lot of meat now that's two bears we got 19 minutes that'll work I'll just take six. We'll leave that point two, obviously. Um, I'll leave two of those out. Got 27 minutes. We'll do that. Then we'll take the hide and then the guts. There we 
go. So there's an hour. Let's do that. Perfect. Get five guts this time, five guts next time, and we're done. That. Uh, let's take two of those. Throw those on there. 35 minutes. Um, we can do a repair, I guess, while we're out here, waiting that last 30 minutes. All right, we're all good there and there. Uh, let's grab some food. We'll take that one. Actually, let's just take that one. Cause you're small. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it. Let's take both of those. We'll just eat the smallest ones. We'll probably get rid of these. There we go. And throw that in there. We got 10 minutes. Oh, and we got clear weather. Okay, well, here, let's just do that. And let's go. Take you back. I'm gonna swing by this uh, this fishing hut and just have a peek inside, just to make sure I didn't miss anything I was supposed to not miss. All right, we're all good. All right, I'm gonna go up over here. This is my preferred way of going up. Is that a wolf? I thought I saw a wolf yesterday in this direction, and then uh, I think we determined, or I determined, I guess, uh, that it was actually a deer. That... Still a little far to tell. I think that's a deer. Got too long in the neck, of a neck. I might be wrong. I think it's bent over eating now. Yeah, that'd be a deer. We're all good. We got the wind at our back. That's good. And it's minus one. Ooh, we. Oh, it's almost nighttime. Gonna say we might get actually above zero, but. Do you know how tempted I am to go to the Aurora mine right now? We have enough food. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna do this. Let's do that. Do that. And we'll go this way. I think we'll transfer some of this. Uh, well, we'll transfer that cooked meat over to the Aurora mine. And I don't know. I mean, we got a lot of alertness, so we can just take a walk over there. Drop off the meat. And 
and by the time we get there who knows maybe we get an aurora it's nice and clear Never know. Did I not check this car? Let's put you away. With this amount of alertness, what are we going to twiddle our thumbs here? Um, I'm going to check out that book because it might have an hour on it. I think. Or I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. I'll pick it up. All right, this is the part I don't like, the unloading. Because I'm an idiot and I like to take all of it. And drop it. This much gear. When I do it this way, I can't move. All right, let's go. Put you away. There's the guts. There's the hide. Let's go. Uh, let's grab a little bit more cloth. I'll take all four arrow shafts. Uh, I'm not going to take any of that. You know what I am going to do, though? Move you outside. Oh, I got stuck. <laughs> Cut that corner a little too sharp. All right, right here should be good. Go. Now we have more than enough water for the time being, and we have our pot, so if if we do get an aurora and get in there, we got enough food and water. The past few times that we've, uh, to be honest, every time I've gone in here, I haven't had any issues with getting out, really. When I've been uh, decently prepared. There it is. I was wondering, hey, where'd my meat go? I know I dropped it over here somewhere. I'm not sure I can carry there we go. Part. We got two bars of scent. We can check the uh, log sort. Houses. Before we go in. I uh, will grab sticks if I see them. Today's word is verbatim. <laughs> Which means in exactly the same words, word for word. I knew that. Check the pistol for bullets. It's got one. Uh, 
There you go. Can you go on the trunk? No. I don't know. Hard to say. It's getting foggy now. Maybe not gonna get an Aurora tonight. So if we don't get an Aurora, at a, I'm going to say we'll just spend the night in the log sort. Oh wow. Pull it out, Astrid. Oh, wow. I did not see him. Got lucky there. Astrid's like casually like no 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 I'll just pull this out Taking my time All right, I'm gonna throw the meat up here by the entrance I'll keep one piece Hey, mr. Coach welcome in. How you doing bud? Uh you know what? I'll just drop all of this. I'll keep the fish. Good enough. Uh, I don't want to be in there with scent. Possibly attracting wolves. Or bear three. To our location. So I'll just leave it back there. Yeah, we found the dead bear. He was... Straight out and to the right. All right, we got nothing around here. Except these sticks. Take that. And then we'll go check out the trailer, I guess. Okay. All right, what you got? What you got? What you got? Nothing. Got another lantern. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to grab that book. Oh, well. Beautiful. Now I really want an Aurora. I want to get in there. Let's go check out the crows. I really don't think we're gonna get one though. Feels like night is coming. You're a deer. Um, I should take the hide. Yeah, what the hell. Yeah, just some random dead guy frozen in the bunk. <laughs> Where's that wolf? Come on. I barely even smell. I have fish on me, but I did, it's not visible scent.
problem with this is I don't know where he's going to come up. There it is. Let's bring him this way. There we go. And go back to what we were trying to do before we were rudely interrupted. You, you like how the dead body doesn't really phase us? <laughs> take 1.5 like you notice that like they never say anything like oh right you know that would startle me probably make me run right out the worst part about finding a dead body like that is I mean, not necessarily. I mean, if it's frozen like that. But if you ever found a body, the worst part of it is at some point you're going to have to touch it. See if they're cold. This is unfortunate. Here, let's go this way. Uh, let's go back this way. Let's get... Uh, uh. Number one, let's get rid of this raw meat. Maybe we'll grab a piece of cooked meat. And we will continue that way. Thank you for the resub. You waited this time. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Last time you did it before I was even at my desk. <laughs> Thanks, Copper. That's nine months. I appreciate it. I'm going this way because I want to, uh, to be honest, I want to check that car on the bridge and uh, get the memento, but we'll see. Uh, we might end up sleeping at the fishing camp and then doing that in the morning and possibly getting ourselves another bear. And then I guess from up here, I mean, if we spend the night at the fishing camp and check out the bridge, then we can go somewhere up that way. Go see if we can find Barb's rifle at the rail car. I believe that'll be the first time I found it there for myself. If it's not there, I'm going to be mad. Because that means I missed it again. Pretty sure I couldn't miss it in those huts. Oh, let's take you. It's pretty dark in here. I never miss Barb's rifle, right? And this time you ain't trolling. Oh, that was uh, awkward. 
Yeah, Mert's seen me miss it a few times and then just kept quiet. <laughs> I, I'm going to go and say, like, we've checked all of the fishing huts and I fished in every one of them. Okay. We fished in every one of them. I would have seen it. Because it's either at the fishing hole part or it's leaning against the wall by the by the fire pit. And in every one of them, I think we made a fire and we fished. So we would have seen it. All right, this is the sketch, sketchy part. Wow, you guys are eating up all my arrows. All my barrows. I need to just pull you out. This is sketchy not because of the wolves, because of the bear. The bear just likes to walk right through here. Let's get in there. We're gonna get ourselves some books. For you, once every uh, five times at Coastal Highway, it just ain't here. Really? That's not good. Yeah, we got we got one bear, copper outside uh, the fishing hut by Misanthrop's Island. Hey. And then when we were bringing it back, we had another bear out by uh, the Quonset. Which is not uncommon. I, uh, I, I can't tell you how many times I've taken one bear and got the other bear while I'm transporting the first one. Oh, hey, that's actually, I like that. Now I got four again. And the, the thing with this one, like when I got the second one, I mean, it, I had everything in the, uh, in the, in the sled, right? So I didn't have any scent. And I, I kind of saw him a little bit late, to, if I'm being honest. <laughs> right. This is me hating to uh, light the lantern. I'm just going to leave it lit while I check these houses. Got a cartridge. I think I can use this. Oh, there it is. There's the hook and there's the line. I actually saw them. Sometimes it's hard with the lighting. Sometimes it's hard to see them. All right. Uh, I'll check the lockers last. Be a case of beer in there. I'm not even a drinker, and that's what I think. There should be a, always a case of beer in the cooler. It's like the Canadian way. Um, yeah, we're gonna, you know what? We'll just eat and go to bed. Eat the dry stuff. And then, Man. I shut you up real quick, didn't I, Astrid? In the morning, we're going to have bear number three. It's also the Aussie way. Oh! Why? Why? 
It knew. It knew I wanted an Aurora. Just keep repairing. Right, where are we at? Let's eat that. Does the long dark likes to troll? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, silly me, not putting that deer hide on the floor. Uh, I'm gonna take these. We can build up a little bit. Cloth. That was like a middle of the night Aurora. Cause it was already fairly late when we went to bed. I won't lie though, I mean, I didn't even... I just figured, okay, it's not gonna happen, okay. We know from past experiences, pull this out, crouch. Alright, we should be okay. Are we gonna get a blizzard? Kinda tempted to run. Not here. I'll go check the car. And then we'll head back. No batteries. I got a note. A note. Leather. That's a good find. Okay. Yeah. We'll take it. We don't really want it. Alright. They're biting fierce right now. I can feel it. Meet me at my boat tomorrow early late. We know where that one is. Where is the bear? You know what I gotta do is I gotta craft another uh, medicated bandage before I forget because I keep forgetting I only have one I do have the ingredients. I have nine. So when I craft one more, I'll still have enough to make two more, which is typically what I would carry, but 
I've kind of working myself into getting into the habit of taking three spares. That way, if I have to use one, I, I don't really have to like go searching for any because I'll already have what I want. And they don't, they don't weigh nothing. It's like for nine of them, it's like 0 0.01 per per piece so it's like 0 0.03 i guess for each uh for the ingredients for each bandage yeah it does it gives me some wiggle room because sometimes i mean we've we've had it ourselves in our in, in one of our runs where i needed some and I couldn't find some. I didn't know where it was. I saw these sticks and I needed to have them. I see that one. I don't care about it. I'm not seeing anything out on the ice. Well, let's go. Let's go this away. Uh, be cautious because that bear can come down this hill too. I don't know if it was this particular hill or if it was further back. But yeah, the bear just started coming down at me. Is that a body? Oh, I gotta go in here. There's usually a, a deer carcass in here. I think it's sometimes a, a deer, sometimes it's a, a person. Today it's a deer. Oh, we gotta take 1.5. This will give us a couple of deer, deer hides that we can have curing to fix the sled. And that gives us three kilograms of deer meat. That is basically just for uh, making carry pies if we find what we need to make them. Alright, well, the snow settled down a little bit. Got some wolves out here. When you're perfectly safe, the best thing to do is go look for wolves. Coach would like to say there will be no rifle on the rail car. That's the worst case scenario for me because then I'm going to be re have to go check every one of these fishing huts. And if I have to recheck them, I may as well f like fish in each one of them again. I mean, why why go to them if you're not going to actually fish, right? <laughs> See if Coach will change his answer. All right, I'm going to guess we're going to go. Okay. I was guessing he was going to go to my right, but he's like, nope. He misunderstood. No fishing. I telepathically told him, go to the right. 
and he thought he that I meant his right. I meant my right. There's another one out there. Right, let's put that away. We don't need to have that out. Coming now. At least I think he is. You can see the bear. There's the bear. Doink. All right. We've been in that island, right? That is a rabbit island. We need to go to this one. Although, hmm. We're right here. I, I totally want to... Did I just hear a bark? I'm unsure. I thought I heard a bark. A faint bark. No, it was not Ruby. All right, let's go back. I really want to go check for the gun. And just, okay, there's a deer over there, so we're good. I want to check for the gun because I just want to get that out of the way. Darth, welcome in. How you doing? Nifo's stomach rumbles and he looks for wolves. <laughs> I'm gonna go up here and drop this deer meat and grab some more cooked meat. Darth's in the house. <laughs> Listen up, maggot. This Fergalicious ain't no Darth. Just a civilian trucking through life. <laughs> I like those. That Frosty Tools is pretty funny. Because why not? What's the time of day? It's uh, mid afternoon. Yeah, that's a recent addition. I saw it on uh, somebody else's stream. It's like a bot. gets its information from either so if you're looking at any of that thinking hmm how does it know that I don't know all right 
Actually, I believe this is where the bear came down at me. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Now, I, I always dread going up to that upper set of tracks because I always, I mean, the only way I definitely know how to get there is is to go back to the Quonset and go up that way. Hey, Darth, thank you for the resub. Or the sub. Long. It's a resub? Yeah, for eight months. Is that eight or is that nine? I can't tell, but it's, it's really tiny. Eight months, there we go. I see it. Thank you. I'm sitting over here half blind. The winding road up is dangerous. Yeah. We got one bar of scent. Well, we know there's only one possible bear. Right? We know there ain't going to be no moose, because why would there be? I mean, I only have it turned up to maximum. Which basically shuts moose off. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's just go back to the... Qu I was going to jump in this house to warm up before we continued, but I may as well go right to the Quonset and drop off the deer hides. and meese. <laughs> There's the English language, right? Alright, let's go in here. We'll uh, drop the deer hides, I guess, right here. We have 20 pieces of cloth. Um, uh, I found revolver ammo. I didn't find any other, right? Two right there. Uh, you know what? For no reason, I'm just going to put that there. I got that book. I don't really want it. If I'm being honest. That's got two hours. Do that if we get stuck somewhere and we have nothing to do we can read uh, eat you there we go and we'll drink up and let's check our clothing maybe we'll do a repair 87.90 Let's do that one Bird wants a stretch Alright everyone Oh look at the weather Alright Well let's read the book Guess we're not going anywhere Thanks, Merd. All right, you're done. Uh, where, 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 where should I put this book? Dump you off in the corner with the rest of the stuff I don't need. Um, I can probably make some arrows. 
Let's take all those. We need to uh, just take all of it. Uh, and we have a broken, two broken. It's only a blue toolkit. I can't remember. I know the red ones is 45 minutes. For arrow? I don't remember. What are these? 1.12. Well, I'm just going to do that. It won't let us go all the way anyway. There we go. We got some. Uh, we got way too much. There's simple tools. Can I have them again? Oh, we got to break that down. Um, uh, actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. To minimize, I don't know exactly how this actually works. But if I have the small containers and I break it down, it'll fill those small containers, right? Finding a red toolbox beachcombing is always very nice. I would like to find one, yes. I think that would be swell. All right, we can throw the scrap metal in here. Now we have four. We need one more. And we will throw you, let's go A to Z. I don't know how that works. Uh, I think we're just gonna eat and sleep. Uh, actually, Got you. I don't really have any wood though. I'm not using coal to boil water indoors. Yeah, we'll just eat and sleep. Oh, we need water. I have all those sticks though. And we have 31 sticks. Let's do it. Thirty-one sticks, and we basically just Come need on. an hour twenty-four of a fire because we have pills, which y'all don't like, but I love. There we go. That'll also cook that meat. Forty and forty. Uh, what can we do? Eighty-seven. Oh, I know what we can do before I forget for the 55th time. There we go. We got 21 minutes. Let's repair our underwear. 33 minutes, but whatever. That'll be fine. You cooked. We want that. That is more than enough. We got to use these tablets soon anyway, so it's good that we got to do it now. Once they ruin, they're no good. Right. Should we do socks? Yeah, they're the only thing that's left in the 80s. go to bed. There we go. That's perfect. 
Uh, let's eat you. And I guess we'll eat you. A bit thirsty. And we'll do that. Uh, I got too much cloth, I think. 16. We don't need 16. That's far too much. Drop 11. I'll take the, uh, I'm going to take all the sticks. Oh, wait a second. Foolish me. How many arrows can I still make? Oh, four. I'm not going to make four. I mean, we got 26. We're good. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because, I mean, that's 0.28. That right there, 220. That's a lot. So that's close to three kilograms of arrow making supplies that we don't need to be carting around all over. Surprise, surprise. No moose. So do I, I want that one or do I want this one? I'm going to go up this way. I'm going up this way. And we check that house. We got the house on the hill. We got the 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 plane crash. Go give them a look. Sometimes I kind of like when these houses are destroyed because it means I don't have to try to loot them and get nothing out of them. <laughs> Juicy buck. All right. Hey, welcome back, coach. Here, look at the pictures for coach. There we go. Uh, we're going to find a skillet. bunch of skillets all over the place but I don't have one here. Like here we got a little bit of food for those of you that call that stuff food I personally call it ugh. <laughs> like why are you eating bait Hey, look at that. It's cooked. All right. Uh, okay. Let's go upstairs. Nothing over there. Sardine skillet, same thing. <laughs> we 
Oops, I missed. Oopsie. Nothing. Get in there and have a peek. 185. All these toilets are pretty full. Alright. Let's, uh, drop you. Let's, uh, shut you off. And we'll continue. Let's go get the, the plane crash, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna, uh, how many six? We're at 25. You know, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> one more. So all we need is one more. that shirt right, nothing in there and nothing in there up the up the road right Aha. I have it all right so coach has a sneaking suspicion there's not going to be a rifle up at the top I have a fear there's not going to be a rifle up at the top We will see. That was a, well, of course, that was a lot of excitement over that stick. Look at that. Right there, it gives me X29. X29 is like the only thing better than 29. Now you get it? Yeah. We got, we need eight more cattails. I've been, pick, I don't know if you saw, but I've been picking them. Every stream, I've been picking one and eating one. Murd would laugh like you wouldn't believe if Barb's was under the bridge and I missed it. I did not miss it. I went right up to the wall. It's not under the bridge. This is where y'all tell me like there's actually two different areas under the bridge that it can be at. <laughs> I went to the, to the. Oh boy, that scared the hell out of me. I went to like the wrong one. The 
must be paid for anything. We'll take that. I got a low. Oh, hey, buddy. You are loaded. There's only two of these. Whatever. I'm going to take them anyway. The X-29 was a research aircraft that tested the combination of forward swept wings, canards, and fly-by-wire system to reduce drag and improve maneuverability. Nice! I didn't even know that. I have to drop you so I can do this. There we go. If you got two flare pistols on you load them make sure they're both loaded so was it a nice looking aircraft like is it something a guy can get a back tattoo of <laughs> Or was it hideous? You did that in an odd way. Why drop the empty one? Because I wanted to make sure I just didn't. I, I knew if I dropped one of the flare guns that I would only have the empty one on me. I didn't want to mess around with like, oh, which one is going to come out? That's why. I guess I could have selected the and equipped. I will try and remember. Oh, I've already been in this one. Put you guys right here. Uh, let's eat and drink. Just gonna say. <laughs> Alright, you're cooked. Ruined coffee. It's still good. Hey, Sh Shogun Streams. One day I'll get your... I, every time I see your name and I think Shotgun. One day I will not mess it up. Welcome in. Yeah, you can still use it. The only thing you can't use when it's ruined, um, I believe, medications. I think I remember I had I had like 16 of the the painkillers I remember I used them once and then they all disappeared so uh, that didn't seem right that was probably a bug but the the water purification tablets when they ruin you cannot use them Have I been to the far territories? Yes. Yes. I've sp I actually spent a lot of time out there. Uh, 19 days in the airfield, 15 in the zone, and 25 in Sundered Pass. You're in Broken Railroad trying to make it out there. Nice. I hope your clothing's good. Cause it can be frosty out there. You found a prepper cache in HRV. 
there's uh, there's two bunkers. There's there's a signal void bunker out there, and there is uh, a regular bunker that has a chance of being full. <laughs> Knife has been in Broken Railroad so many times it's now called Broken Knife -o. <laughs> I'm just casually out for a stroll here. Not even got my weapon out. Probably gonna regret that. You know what? Let's pull this out. Do that. Just in case. I mean, that last wolf was kind of... Kind of a close call. Where'd I find that fancy boat? I don't know where I... F There's two of these. This is a sports boat. One of them is in the airfield and one of them's in the... Zone of contamination? Yeah. What's back there? Is that a bag? Hello, bunny. I didn't get a bunch of books in those last uh, places we were at. Like I was expecting. This is spray paint. Take that. Put you there. Go in here. There's all the books. Uh, don't worry, I'm not carting the books all over the place. I am going to take them. And I'm going to use them for a fire. It's my personal troll against Murd. <laughs> that good old fashioned buck burning. I think that's everything in here, right? After we check you. Continue this way. You've been everywhere but the coastal zones and the far territories. I haven't found a heavy hammer yet, except for the three you left on the summit. Oh no. That's not a good place for the hammers to, to hang out. Yeah, sometimes it goes that way when you're not sure. Like if you think, ah, I won't have any issues finding another one, then you won't find one. Day. What time is it? It's almost midday. Uh, 
we do have scent. It's not enough to be displayed. It seems like the long way to get to the rail cars. I told you I don't know my way to get to the rail cars. You might have been getting soup when I said that. Yes, this is the real long way. Well, I gotta take the trail anyway, don't I? What's our word world discovery at, anyways? We're at a hundred already. Look at that. Yeah, I didn't I didn't go up where the moose normally was. Like that road, I didn't take that road, I took the other one. Merge just shaking your head. I don't come out here and hang out here for 50 days like you do. I don't know this area like, I mean, I know where I'm going to some extent, but I always struggle to, to get to that upper rail area. For some reason, I can't remember. which is the right path to take we have conquered the world yes we're at a hundred percent and we still have regions we haven't been in explain that one hinterland I'm worse than that Murd. I have almost 4,000 now. <laughs> let's, let's give you four head injuries and see how well your memory works. I, I, when I started the stream, I actually had to think for a couple of minutes about like Okay, where was that bear? <laughs> like, should I go look in my video from yesterday and see? And then it, and then it came to me. So there. This is a long path, though. It's a long path of, uh, like, a whole bunch of nothing. Like, not a wolf, nothing. And I wait till Murd's having a real bad back day. Like, Murd, you want to go running? <laughs> Only two out of the four of those injuries were from hockey. Remember, I got hit by a car when I was two years old. So, picture a two-year-old and a steel bumper. Like the height. Hey, what the hell? Okay, now I'm actually confused. I'm warming up, though. How did I not get? Isn't it still up there? How did I not get to the rail car? I don't get it. Huh. These look like in Seven Days to Die when something falls and makes a, a lump on the ground. That's what they look like. 
Well. Go this way. It's still up there, but I, like, how the hell do I get up there? Because this takes me to the junction of going to an exit or that way. Fly. We could try. Well. The game's not going to let me go up there. Well, I'm open to, uh, some suggestions. Why do you think you said I was taking the long, long way? Well, that doesn't instantly give me all the information I need now, does it? said half an hour ago I dread going up here because I don't know the way I think in the past when I find it I'm usually lucky I know where I am I'm not lost the rail cars are closer to the bridge where I got the memento that's not where my brain tells me that they are, though. When I left the three huts, I went the wrong way. Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome to my world. My brain is wrong. Yes, it's damaged and wrong. It is. You should try being in a car with me. I've told you about the car stories. If we're going somewhere and we start talking, get comfy. <laughs> unless, unless of course we're like actually needing to go somewhere. Like, but if we're just out for a drive, um, I'm double checking this. I'm pretty sure I've already been in here. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, we've already been in here. Let's go. I'm trying to visualize this map. I know if you're at the bridge, you can go up and go to the left. And exit out there. But does that also take you there? Really? No, it does not. Yes, it does actually, doesn't it? What do we got up here? So now I'm on the right track. I don't know why I was thinking that the like going up there is one exit, but I want the other exit, which I clearly know now is not the one I want. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Now you know why I don't like caves. <laughs> I get lost. Well, I don't think that this bear is a problem up here now, is he? The road up across from the log. See, I know this area. This area, like this, this just meets up with it over there. Take the lower path. 
Actually, I'm going to eat as well and drink. I'm not worried about this bear. The bear that we, we already took this bear out. This was the second of the of the bears that we took out. The bear that's still up is the one way over by the bridge and he goes that away and that away. I don't believe he comes up here. This road scares you. Every once in a while, I have a wolf come up uh, from the side. The the one that is close to the rail car is given how much closer to the bridge that is. That bear is the bear you think is far away, but isn't. Yeah, but I don't stink. This Another pry bar. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. That bear down on the, uh, just off of the river, by that bridge. Does he actually come up here? Is this part of his patrol? Take that. Cause I thought, I thought, uh, oh damn it. Another one of you. Well, there's, <laughs> there's scrap metal number five. I'm not going to have to look for scrap metal now. the rail cars we're close are we talking about the same bear because every once in a blue moon you are wrong oh hello the bear that I'm thinking about is the one whose cave is way down there. I'm not sure I can carry much more. And I don't know that that bear comes up here. The one over by, uh, what is the, uh, you know, the rabbit hill and, uh, the little picnic area. Bear Creek or whatever. I don't remember what that place is called. That guy doesn't come up here. Not unless you stink. Then you might draw him up here. At least that's my thought anyway. I've never thought that he would. Now, there's the bear way across the river, uh, across the pond. And then there's another one that's kind of over that way. And they're both gone. They are done. I got their meat. And their hides and their guts. You've drawn that bear up here with two scent bars, but I don't have scent. I don't have, I, I don't stink. And yes, you are referring to the one by the picnic area. Yeah, uh, he, but his normal patrol isn't up here. 
So yeah, if you stink, I mean, he'll come right across the whole map. Just like that one in Mystery Lake. He doesn't normally come to the camp office, but with some scent, you can get him there. But we ain't got scent, so that's why I'm not worried about him. He is... Uh, and not to mention, I mean, we, we didn't even see him when we were looking for him. Alright, I'm checking this rail car. Just to be sure. I know it isn't this one. I know it's that one down there, but I'm just going to... Okay, good. What's the temperature? It's plus six. Yeah, I'm not afraid. It is closer, like, it's closer than I think it is to this. Um, well, yeah, I guess it is. Aha, coach. Huh, what have we here? Is this gonna work? This pack is getting too heavy to carry. 25%, no bullets. But it's a variant, so I have to take it. I feel happy now. That means I didn't miss it down there. That was really a big fear that I had. Like, oh no, did I miss it again? I wish it was a little bit colder out because I'd rather break down that lantern. I don't want to break it down while it's plus six. That is the first time I've been, oh, oh. I, I briefly got excited for a sweater that's been useless to me for a while. That is the very first time I found it up at this location. I always find it either in the, <clears throat> in the fishing hut or in the Quonset. And let's do that. I just have the Forester's Revolver and the Warden's Revolver left to find for weapons. So that'll be Bleak and Blackrock. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. How heavy are we? We're only at 55, Ashford. Chill out. Yeah, what coach just said. <laughs> you know what? I got five bullets. I could load it. I'm going this way. I am going this way. We got, well... There is a sapling down there. There's potentially a bear. There's a cabin I haven't checked down there. Uh, there's Rabbit Hill. Whatever it's called. Rabbit Grove, Rabbit Hill. That hill with rabbits down below. Alright. Watch, I won't even find the sapling. I don't really know where I was looking. I was preoccupied with explaining why I was not frightened. I'm partially going this way because I'm a stubborn person. There it is. I'm going to show you that 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 bear cave is a long ways away. It is not real close. It is not an immediate threat. 
But I also want to get that cabin up here. But I will say I don't know my way to that cabin from the from where I'm at. Nafo goes to Dallas to get to Montreal. You've never taken a flight from Canada. <laughs> Ooh, hey, look at what we got. Darth. Darth's the only one who's not bugging me. <laughs> Have you ever had to fly over top of your city and go to another city only to board an airplane and go back to your city? Whilst you scratch your head and say, what the hell? My city is the capital of the province. Why do I have to fly over my city? You've only been to the cabin I'm going to once. Why? Do you always forget about it or just not worth it? There's the bunny. Now I know where the cabin is. It's that way. Since we're here, I'm going to go up here. I don't remember if we've been up here. Mm. You used to have to fly to Detroit to get to Pittsburgh right over top of it. This much gear. All right, we have not been in here, which is good. Um, that was a sprained wrist. Yeah, some of the flight patterns are stupid, and uh, I don't know if it's like this in in the countries y'all live in, but it's cheaper to fly from my city to England than it is to fly f from my city to like Montreal. How ridiculous is that? Like it's it's way cheaper to fly international in Canada than it is to fly within Canada. You never come to this cabin coach or or this one over here. Why? What's why y'all hating on that cabin? It's a good cabin. There is nothing wrong with that cabin. Or are you guys just afraid of the bear? This pack is getting too heavy to carry. You walked the bear to here along the river and killed it here just because you wanted food here. <laughs> hey, this bear is the only bear that, or, or sorry, he, he's not the only bear. He actually might be the only bear that I've seen do it. But he's the first time I ever saw a bear go to bait. I didn't, I always thought that baiting was just for the wolves. With a flare gun, you fear no bear. I got two of them, and they're in each of my pockets. I gotta go this way. I'm preoccupied with the bear. But see, his cave is still way down there. Like, that's, that's a long, 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 long way. And my belief is that he comes up and around here, and he goes that way. But his regular path, does I don't believe, takes him up there. Because I think that's the other bear's territory. Just gonna say that. I don't know. Is that the hut or is that a root? A root, as Americans would say. 
Yeah, if only you could deal, do a wheel. Hey, it took them like nine years before they figured out how to animate gloves. Maybe in another six years we'll figure out how to dual wield. There it is. I see it. This cabin is so much easier to get to from the road. I once discovered. Um, there's a... An area over there with a body or a deer. I kind of want to check that out too. I wish this wind would die down. So there's one bear just above the Quonset, and that is real far away. Yes, that is. Uh, Alright, fine, you win. <laughs> I will concede. When, when I took that little path down, right, when I was walking, I'm like, okay, I know this area, and you know, there's that path that, that comes down and around, and you can just take the upper path if you want. Was there not a bear cave right near there? load for much longer <laughs> poor copper you miss everything you miss everything I'll let I'll let Murd gloat Murd can tell you yeah there's only three bears We got nothing in here. What's the time? Well, we have cans, but we don't want a can. Uh, I, I actually do want to go there. I was debating when I when I thought about it initially about just maybe just going there first and then coming out here, but. If I don't go there now, I probably won't ever go there. And I think there's sometimes, I think sometimes it's a deer carcass and sometimes it's a, it's a, it's a person. I believe it's right down there, but I might be wrong. I actually know my way there better from the river. This much gear. Then I do from out here. Actually, I think it's up and over this little hump here. Three bears and Goldilocks. <laughs> yes, C Copper, you missed you missed your favorite thing. I, I took an awful long walk and went completely in the wrong spot. And then I did argue with them about uh, which bears I took down. And uh, just finally came to the, I mean, it must be tough for y'all dealing with me sometimes. <laughs> but I finally, finally got to the point where I'm like, hey, you know what? I think he's right. <laughs> Oh well, I argued. You stuck your, you, you stood your ground. All right, I don't know if this is where that body is. Up by those trees, maybe. Like I said earlier, I don't know my way to this from the direction I'm coming. Um, but I do think this is usually where it is. And it looks like there's nothing. All right, let's go back. Let's go back.
I know, what was I thinking arguing with Merg? The guy whose memory is like 85,000 times better than mine. Well, at least I'm, I'm not the guy who, compl who, who, who claims to be the smart twin. There's a reason he's the smart twin. This is like deja vu. I'm going back this way because I think there was a sapling. Somewhere out there. Somewhere. Oh. Look at the sky. And look at the time of day. Your memory has its holes, yes, but mine has way more holes. <laughs> I think I was going to argue with you once before and I just decided not to because I would be wrong. And I was right that I would have been wrong. <laughs> Now, I don't remember if I went up there or if I came down here. There might be a sap. You know what? If I don't find it, I don't care. I really don't care too much. For instance, this is the cabin you killed the bear. Got the other one confused with this one. Oh, look at that. I don't, I, I mean, I'm not wrong, right? All three of these bears can be up at the same time, right? It's not just three bear spawns and you get two out of the three, right? Because I, I always have that one. And I almost every time when I kill one of these guys, I get the other one whilst I'm bringing the meat back. I don't know why we never saw that guy. Merd's actually human. Settle down, copper. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. <laughs> Have you seen how many books he has? That's the, humans don't do that. Libraries do. Yeah, you've killed all three after one after the other. Yeah, I thought they all could be up. We have 475. I'm kind of happy with where we're at right now, to be honest. Uh, we have all of our alertness, uh, sorry, our, our condition. So we could go into the uh, Aurora mine the sun is setting. and just sleep. An hour at a time. Do we run? No. Um, Astrid smacking her lips. Uh, eat you. Where's Darth? Did Darth see me picking those cattails for him? I picked five. to when an aurora could start that last one though that started like halfway through the night that was not cool 
waits till I go to sleep and then instantly starts right after. <laughs> cheated because like I, I, it's not like i went to bed right at right at bedtime right it was it was a fair amount into the night when i finally went the game saw me choose 10 hours of sleep and said oh yeah you're gonna do that here you go blink <laughs> we heard you talking about an aurora the guy who painted the roads in the line the, the lines in the road was drunk. I've seen worse. I w I'm interested in speaking to lines on roads. I'm interested in seeing the vehicle they used to do that. Because, like in real life. It's pretty amazing that they can line them up so so nice most of the time. Every once in a while you get that rookie. But the guy he took over from was a rookie once and sucked too, so and became great. They use lasers? That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Oh, copper hits me with a wolf while Astrid's being a freak. Astrid's smacking her lips like... I got... Almost five kilograms or five liters of water. Damn, I could go for a glass of pee right now. She's weird. Like, how come she doesn't know that we have water? How come she doesn't say, like, oh, I sure could drink some of that water I'm carrying? And what hinterland uh, employee decided, like, hey... <laughs> Let's use that line. Wasn't it Bear Grylls that did it? That guy's such a phony. I saw on Reddit somebody was defending him royally. Like, no, he did this and he did this and this and this. Like, no, he's actually fake. Yes, his credentials are there, but yet, as an actual survivalist, he will kill you way before. Did you ever see the one where he slept in a carcass? in Africa or somewhere. He was in the desert or something like that, but he's like, if you really need to stay warm, this will keep you warm. Yeah, and then the predators show up and now you're dead. Bear Grylls is not real. Do not fall for that television crap. I saw somebody say Bear, Bear Grylls exists because uh, uh, Les Stroud, Survivor Man, would not do scripted survival shows. He would not do, I mean, and, and plus, if, if Bear Grylls is so great, how come he is, I mean, his cameraman that's following him around is equally as great now, isn't he? But yeah, Bear, Bear Grylls basically exists because Les Stroud refused to do garbage survival shows that the networks wanted. He's like, I'm doing real survival that will actually save people's lives. 
And I'm not doing that stuff because that stuff will kill people. Let's go way into the Bigfoot thing. Yes, he did. But I don't mind that. I I, I find Bigfoot to be exciting and and interesting. I don't know that it's real, but for a guy like him, you got to understand he's 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 not exactly a spring chicken, right? So at some point you got to you got to allow a person to just take the easy road, I guess. Coach sleeps in an old carcass every night. <laughs> the thing I don't mind though with Les Stroud and and his Bigfoot stuff is that he's not he's not usually or at least the ones that I've seen, he's not there like oh did you hear that there's a knock, like he's he's generally a non-believer that's that's. Like, hey, I found this. I don't know what this is. I can't explain this. I've never seen this before. You can make up your own mind as to what you think it is. Whereas that show Finding Bigfoot, come on. Everything you guys show us is fake. Got a cameraman in there knocking on a tree. Oh, did you hear the tree knocks? <laughs> So, I think I think Les Stroud's Bigfoot stuff is is more believable than anybody else's. Are we doing a call count? No, because uh, we got eight. <laughs> I don't know how many I actually found. All right, we were just gonna sleep for an hour at a time, but. I'm gonna end. I'm. I'm gonna. Hmm. I'm gonna end this here. Oh, I can't do that. Yeah, I'll go an hour. Yeah, I'll end this here. So, for those of you on YouTube, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow.